Let's take a closer look at the actual components contained within each of these two kit bags. The first bag, marked with lashing, contains one ratchet strap assembly, one half pitch, one three quarter pitch, and one full pitch, along with steel pins. The second bag contains laminated installation instructions, one half pitch, one three quarter pitch, and one full pitch, along with steel pins. Also contained within each kit bag is a steel pilot shaft used to protect the threads on the steel pins during the installation process. There are also spare lock nuts and washers. Please remember to follow Solideal's step-by-step -step instructions included with the second kit bag. You'll also need various small hand tools to help facilitate installation. Small hammer, ratchet with 11 16 socket, vice grips, all-purpose grease to lubricate the steel pins, and a large hammer. Solid Eel Trackmaster over-the-tire tracks are designed to fit most skid steer loaders on the market today. Some skid steer loaders require the use of wheel spacers. Wheel spacers bolt onto the hubs of the skid steer loader and provide for extra clearance required to properly fit Trackmaster over-the-tire tracks. A proper installation procedure for mounting wheel spacers is included in your laminated instructions. To ensure proper installation and operation, Solideal requires that all tires be fully inflated to their maximum recommended PSIs according to tire manufacturer specifications. According to our Solideal machine list, this particular unit calls for the use of one half pitch as well as one full pitch. We're going to go ahead and install the extra recommended links ahead of time. This is going to make it easier once we're trying to wrap it around the machine. Solid Eel Trackmaster over the tire tracks have a directional tread. They're designed to fit only one way around the tires. Likewise, the extra pitches have that same directional tread. They can only go one way. Pre-fitting these extra pitches really saves installation time down the road. What we're doing is we're using this short ratchet strap to connect up the two ends of the Trackmaster over the tire track. In doing so, we'll be able to roll the machine forward slightly and bring this joint towards the center in between the two tires so that we can tighten her up and get the pin through. Now that we've got the two ends connected using this ratchet strap, I'm going to get in the machine and roll it slightly forward, positioning this joint halfway in between the tires up at the top. From that position, it'll be much easier to get the two ends closer together to insert the pin. The ratchet doesn't have a lot of take up on it, so we're going to restart it and uh, get some more pulls to get the two ends closer and closer together. Solid Eel short ratchet design really speeds up this whole process. We're going to use the large hammer and try to uh, tap it at the back and also on the front. Taking some pulls of the ratchet strap along the way. Again, using this pilot shaft really protects the threads on that steel pin as we hammer it in through the, the link. Using the ratchet strap and the pilot shaft and the pins, we've now connected the two ends of the track together. I'm gonna hop in the machine and driving it back and forth slowly, we're gonna properly seat these tires within the tracks. Then we'll be in a much better position to determine proper tension.
You always measure tension by positioning the joint up at the top, centered in between the two tires. And I can see there, Mike's pushing down. He is getting just about two inches of sag down from horizontal. That's about perfect. Looks like the machine list was bang on with its recommendation for one half pitch and one full pitch. And that's what we're gonna use on the other side. Mike's preparing the full link by removing all the pins and positioning it. Again, it can go only one way due to the directional tread. Lubricating the pin first with a good all-purpose grease and making sure there's a washer on each side. And I'll fasten the pin with a washer and lock nut on the other side. And do the exact same procedure for the half pitch. You can see we've got this half pitch installed the wrong way. Due to the staggered nature of these teeth here, this pitch can only be inserted one way. You can see it is coming out past the body of the track on this side and it's well short this side. We need to flip this around. Now positioned properly, the this extra half pitch aligns itself true on both sides. These pitches can only be installed one way. With the links installed, we're now ready to drive the machine over top and begin to bring the two halves together. Mike has pre-positioned this short ratchet at the one end of the track here. This will make things go a lot easier when we flip it around and try to get the two halves together. And now we're in a good position to attach the other short ratchet on the opposite end of the track and ready to pull the two halves together. Pulling it just about as tight as we can, we've got the one end lifted up so that it's going to allow the track to move freely within this wheel well as I roll the machine forward. With the joint positioned at the top, centered in between the two tires, we can now restart this ratchet bringing the two ends closer and closer until we're able to put the steel pin through. Having greased up the pin and using the protective pilot shaft, we can now insert the final pin. With a washer and a lock nut on the other side, we'll tighten it up with our 11 16th socket and a pair of pliers. We can now remove the ratchet assembly and roll the machine back and forth to properly seat the tires within the tracks. We've now positioned the joint up at the top, centered in between the two tires, and using a straight edge and a tape measure, we're gonna check for proper sag. We're looking for between one and two inches of sag down from horizontal. We're at inch and a half, inch and three quarters. That's just about perfect as well. Mike and I have successfully completed our installation of Solid Eels Trackmaster over the tire track. <laughs>